Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why I got rid of the Rugged Ridge Amphib High-Low Snorkel. I used to have a snorkel here. I'll put some pictures somewhere. Maybe I'll put some pictures over here. Or I'll put a few pictures of the high and low while it was installed in the Jeep. It wasn't holding up well in the sun. It wasn't holding up well with use. It was starting to warp off the windshield quite a bit when you're on a road. I'd always smack the windshield. I had no more adjustability on the bolt. It wasn't aging while it was starting to crack. It was turning white um, from all the UV exposure. It, it really wasn't, I really wasn't impressed with it. I'm glad I got it on sale. Only paid about $125 for it. And it retails for $5.99. I found a Father's Day sale and in Bruce Print on the website and I had jumped on it while I found it. Overall, I would not recommend it. it it's not a super, it, it, you get what you pay for. It wasn't a really high quality product. It did not hold up and I removed it. I did replace it with the SMB intake so here is my, I got hood scoops. These are functional hood scoops. I have one on both sides, the driver and passenger. It did take out the original Rubicon hood scoops, which were not functional. This one is a functional hood scoop. It just pulls air into the engine bay. It helps cool off the engine. And over here, I have one that actually pulls into the intake. I'll pop the hood here in a second so you can see what it looks like on the inside. On the driver's side, it's just a functional air vent. Pulls more air into the engine bay, helps cool off a little bit more. On the passenger side, you actually have the intake. It actually pulls air in, has a little grommet there that spits water out. So if you're driving in the rain, it spits water out before it goes in. It replaces your entire air filter box, as well as your um, intake tube as well. It was a fairly easy install. It took me about an hour from start to finish, including the air box, the intake tube, as well as the, uh, the hood vents as well. Fairly easy to install. The longest time I actually took taking out the, the hood liner. I'm going to cut holes in it so you can put the intakes and make them active intakes. Otherwise, it was pretty easy to do. I'd appreciate if you'd like, subscribe, and share. I'm trying to grow my channel, even though I upload every six months. Uh, 